The Quran is a miracle for the exact, for the most unscientific reason. Because it transforms lives. To this day, there are people you will, they'll be the last person you would think would be a Muslim. The last person on the face of this earth. One of my best friends in the world, his name is Abdullah, his original name is Mike, he was a neo-Nazi. Tattoos all over his body. He's memorizing Quran right now. He was actually part of, he was up there, and he was, um, he's actually talking to a couple of gangs in uh, New York State prisons, and talking to them about Islam, some of the head leaders of the white supremacist crew, <laughs> because they're old friends. Last person you would imagine would be a Muslim. And he's one of my best friends, and, some, and by the way, he married a black woman, by the way. And, <laughs> yeah. And they have four kids. Yeah, subhanAllah. And this man, you know how he became Muslim? He says, one day I had a fight with my mother, I punched her in the head, I got really mad at myself, so I had to find somewhere to go where the cops wouldn't look for me, so I went to the library. And I couldn't find anything, I had to make, you know, make myself look you know, normal, so I picked up a book and it happened to be the Qur'an. And I wasn't reading it, it was reading me. That's what he says. I wasn't reading it, it was reading me. And he took the shahada in the library. <laughs> SubhanAllah. The, the most weirdest, weirdest experiences people have, when they read the Qur'an, it just completely transforms their, li- their lives. Where I, my daughters go to an Islamic uh, kindergarten, preschool. I started it, I was the principal first. But I quit when I, we found a suitable replacement. The replacement is a, is a woman, she's Japanese. She was born in, she was born in Japan, she, she migrated here. And she was a very um, high power executive downtown. She used to work on Wall Street. And you know how they have those vendors in Wall Street? That sell like shawarmas and stuff like that? We call them chicken guys, right? <laughs> so, she was at one of those, and the guy was blasting like recitation of Qur'an. And she goes, that's really interesting music, where do you get that? And the guy said, uh, actually I can, I can tell you where to go. He pointed her to Atlantic Avenue in Brooklyn where she ended up in a store and they gave her a copy of the Qur'an and she read it and she took shahada the next day and her two sons are memorizing Qur'an and she's the principal of an Islamic school now, right? Just, I mean, the most unlikely people that you would think, no conversion, no preaching, nobody went to them and say you know, accept this or you're doomed, nothing, they just went and read the Qur'an and you know what's the craziest thing? After 9-11, there was a spike in conversions of people that out of curiosity started buying the copy of the Qur'an from Barnes & Noble. And this is not even the miraculous Arabic Qur'an. This is English translation of Qur'an. And people are just out of curiosity, what is this terrorist document? You know? And they're reading it and they're finding, how can I, how could I miss this? I just met last week, I was in Atlanta. There was a convention there in Atlanta. And I met a young man, younger than me at least. Uh, he was... Now get this, his name is, his original name is Joshua, now his name is Yusha. He's originally Irish. He was studying Orthodox Christianity, studying to become a scholar. He was studying Hebrew, Aramaic, he was studying the ancient language, Latin even, to study the Bible in its original texts. And he studied, he heard a, uh, a sermon one day about Islam and how it's an evil religion, right? And he, he thought to himself, after all the Bible I've studied, I can't think the Bible is the truth. But one thing's for sure, of all the other religions I'm going to explore, explore, Islam will never be one of them, because it's an evil faith. He wasn't convinced of the Bible. As, as, the more he studied it, the, the less convinced he became. And then finally, one day, the funny thing is, he was studying at a church, the wall to the masjid is about a foot apart. He was studying at this place. And he used to park his car in the masjid, at the mosque, and then go to church. For 10 years he was doing this, since he was an early teen. And then one day somebody saw him and said, Hey, uh, the Friday prayer is going on, because he was going on Friday to church to speak to his priest. And they didn't know that he's not a Muslim, because he's parking in, the, in the, Muslim, the, the mosque parking lot. So he said, Okay, whatever, I'll check it out. He goes in, listens to the sermon, takes shahada, becomes a Muslim. So this, to me at least in our times, the strangest stories of people in the Western world, People that you would never have imagined coming to Islam. This is probably, to me at least, the greatest miracle in the Qur'an.
The most profound miracle of the Qur'an. This is one you can't argue away from anyone. Because they've experienced it themselves, personally. They've personally, personally experienced it themselves.